What's up guys, it's Punchy, and I'll be checking out a first 2 mechanic that's really fun and pretty slept on. If you're an intelligence player, this gameplay is definitely for you. Since the release of verse 2, I was interested in bombs which were introduced in this last update. I think they're very fun to use on any build, but there's a lot more that we can do that people don't know about. Let's check out iron bombs as a whole and their specific talent tree. The bomb recipe can be obtained at the song seeker mines after speaking to this guy over here. All you gotta do is clear out the mine skippers and return to him for the talent. After this, you can make iron bombs with 2 iron and 1 coal, which is is pretty expensive and out of the way. To make this viable in combat, I recommend the Master Craftsman talent that allows you to craft without the table. Iron bombs can either be placed by clicking or thrown by holding E. Personally, I think that placing the bombs are a lot better for zone control because they punish attacking players and keep you safe. On the other hand, throwing bombs are best used to push away people and pressure blocking players. People can dodge these bombs and they can even block them, but it does a lot of posture. Do whatever you like, but remember, your own iron bombs cannot hurt you, so you should always play around them. But that's not all, because there are several bombs talents that modify how you play. The saboteur path will show up as soon as you obtain this bomb recipe, so avoid bombs if you don't want to like waste your talent slots. Only do the quest if you really want to use bombs. For this tree, there's no specific intelligence you need to get these talents, but bomb damage will increase the higher your int. The first talent available to saboteurs is the basic family recipe talent, which lets you craft bombs, and you know, that's how you do it. The second talent is Hot Potato, which grants a speed boost after throwing a bomb. It's decent, but this does not happen when you drop the bombs, it only happens when you throw them. The next two talents modify your bombs with a Fiery Blast. Incendiary formulas launch players with more force and light them on fire. In this case, my friend is using Lava Serpent, so instead of the burn, the explosion happens after the bomb explosion. The next talent is tied into this, and it makes your bombs do more damage when they're on fire. The talent's name is called And They'll Be Dust. The talent And They'll Be Dust is not great for a Lava Serpent bomb build because it does nothing because you can't let them on fire. Now, these next few talents are kind of crazy and definitely make these bombs better. The talent Pocket Bombs has a chance to drop a bomb from your inventory whenever you take damage. It's ideal for your bombs to activate while you're in a combo, so it explodes and you can get out of that. And the final talent that is most likely the best is Explosive Jester. Your bombs have a chance to detonate twice and do double damage. This is never bad because, you know, it just does more damage. Anyway, that's all for these bombs right now and I'm really enjoying them. I'll definitely check them out later and I want to see some pretty cool builds. Lava Serpent Bomb builds or reserve flame bomb builds are what I want to see, so let me know if you make any. That's all for that, and thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and have a good one.